now, like Augie Myers, yes. who's with us right now. Augie, you were telling us some stories about Freddie Fender, and we are celebrating Freddie Fender's life right now. Oh, we played a lot in Vegas. You know, a lot of people don't know what he did the next, before the next. He didn't want to sing that song. Huey Mo produced it. And he said, do this song. It was recorded 147 times by Dolly Parton, Kenny Rogers, and sure. on and on. And Freddie said, I don't want to sing country, man. I want to sing blues, you know. And so he said, just do this one song. Well, inside the studio in Houston, the paper fell off the stain. So he said, hey, I did a verse for you in Spanish. And oh, he said, that he did it good, man. I love it. So, so millions, millions of cars. Sure. You know? I mean, just by accident. By, so accident. Like, by accident yeah. happened. He just he threw in the Spanish. The Spanish. I mean, he just didn't sing the Spanish. Little did he know that by doing that, he was being embraced by country fans and Tejano and, and Spanish language fans. That, you know, many artists didn't get to do what he did. You know, Mexican music, he did the blues, he did country. He was amazing in all of them. Uh, adding that Spanish part to a country song. And that brings me to the song that we were talking to you about earlier, but in the break. Hey, baby, que paso? Love that song. I had to share the story of how mm -hmm. my eight-year-old little girl <laughs> heard that song on the radio, memorized it. We went into my dad's house. He was singing that song. My dad looked at her, how in the world do you know that song? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's till this day. So, and you're going to perform that for us today, right? Yes. Oh, my goodness. So, how did, that that song how did that come song about? come about? How did it come about? Well, uh, like I said, I was going with this girl, and she didn't <laughs> like us, and there's a door. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that, that's when I wrote, Hey, baby, kept us up. That I is didn't really watch it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and it didn't quite work <laughs> out that way, did it? But, but it took off. Did you expect the kind of response? No, that when the, I started playing it at clubs and places, people, I go, about two of us would come up, and everybody said, uh, we have a band for tonight. And I said, who, the guy that sings Que Paso? They thought it was a Spanish guy. I said, well, that's me. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm, I'm the flaco. I'm a Polish gringo. You know? <laughs> the Polish gringo. <laughs> yeah, I'm the lady sweeping in front of us. Hey, she called her husband, you know, and he said, oh, yeah, well, you want her, you know, come on Aww. in. And everybody loves it. You know? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Well, let me ask you a couple of other questions. You have had quite the historical background um, musically performing with some of the biggest legends in the world. Tell us about them. Do some name dropping yeah, for right. us. We met Bob Dylan in 1964. Mm -hmm. Me and Doug had a group called Sir Douglas Quintet. Mm -hmm. And first time I, I read about Dylan, I mean, I heard about him. In the, in the paper, he said, that's the best garage band in the world. And I, I said, man, he's putting us down. So when I met Bob, I said, Bob, why are you calling us a garage band? He said, that's a big compliment. And I said, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> so when he asked me, I played several albums with him. He said, bring your magic box with the box organ. I own the first one in America that's an English organ. You know, back in the that, and that's what a lot of folks may not know, that you brought this, this instrument to America, yeah. yeah, to America, and you used it in what songs? Uh, well, there was a group called Dave Park Five. Right. Their organ broke. I opened the show for them, and and uh, then Doug Sam and his band went on. And that's when Huey Mo said, "Y'all both got long hair. Want y'all put a band together?" Well, we've been friends since we were nine years old. We know how to do this. That's amazing. So that's where that the quintet started. You know. So. That is amazing. Uh, working with uh, Doug Sam. What Doug was that Sam, like? Man. We met when we were nine years old. His parents came to my mama's grocery store, and. Uh, we were in the back getting baseball cards out of the bubble gum and stuff. <laughs> My mama come up and said, Junior, you can't be doing that. I said, yes, we can. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, but what stories. Oh, oh my we goodness. we could talk to him forever. Yes, we, we could. We could talk to you forever. We honestly can. Oh, so glad and privileged and blessed that you're here with us this morning. We appreciate that. You know, I'm, I'm here, man. I'm thankful. Thank, I always tell people, I'm not afraid of dying. I just don't want to be there when it happens. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that.